guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Olivia and today today we are going to go through a year's worth of empty beauty products that I have used up so before we get into that, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, it really, really helps me out. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I want to remind my subscribers to push the bell notification down below and you will be reminded every single Wednesday evening that I uploaded a video and if I upload any random videos in between you'll get notified of that as well. So if you want to see all of my garbage, keep on watching. <laughs> okay. back in 2017 um, Ingrid Nielsen did a year's worth of empties video and I was like that's interesting I love empties videos and I wanted to do it so like 2018 rolled around and that was like a big transition we and I wasn't really filming that many videos but I was like I'm gonna do this video whatever so I start saving my garbage. So now I've saved my garbage for a year. 2019 rolls around, January 2019. And I was in the middle, I was 26 days away from getting married. I was planning a wedding, I was super busy. So I didn't film the video in January like I wanted to. And honestly, I hadn't really been filming that much in between. I kept saying like, oh you know like I haven't really been filming so like I was like committed to this video but then I would go through periods where like I wasn't committed to this video so there's not I know I've gone through more stuff than this in the year and a half that it's been that I've been collecting this garbage but I'm moving <laughs> again I've been going through this room and like trying to clean things out and get rid of junk well, I have a whole box of garbage here, so I'm just going to go through it with you guys because I love watching empty videos, empties. We're just going to go through this box of garbage, and I'm just going to give you, like, the quickest reviews that I can. I know that there's going to be some items in here, like, multiples of a lot of items. So first thing on top here is this gross bottle of the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castell Soap. This is the unscented one, and this is what I use to clean my beauty blenders. I just buy this big bottle, and I keep it right next to my bathroom sink. And every time I go to wet my beauty blender, I squirt a little bit of this on there, clean it really quick, and my beauty blender's clean. I just have a clean beauty blender every single time I use it. So this, I mean, there's still a little bit, oh my god, there's still a little bit left in there, but... The only thing I hate about these is how gross they get looking. Next, we have a Moroccan Oil Extra Volume Shampoo. This stuff smells amazing. I love, I love Moroccan Oil. Um, I am currently using the hydrating version of the shampoo, and I like that one a lot better. But this is a really good shampoo, um, sulfate-free, paraben-free. Um, it's not going to strip your hair. It's good for colors, so good shampoo. Next we have a Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. I have been using this stuff for probably two or th probably at least two years now, maybe probably three. Yeah, I'd say at least three years now. I love this stuff. I'm like obsessed with glycolic acid. It is a really good way to gently exfoliate your face and it also penetrates the skin really deeply so it allows for like a deeper hydration. It's really good for dry skin, sensitive skin, normal skin type. Um, but yeah, love this stuff. Really pretty inexpensive for what it is and it lasts you forever. Next we have the Purity Made Simple Micellar Water. This was okay, but I remember it stung my eyes, and it just did an okay job of taking the makeup off. I don't think I liked the way it smelled either. I don't remember if it had a smell, but this was just okay. 
Um, next we have a chlorine dry shampoo. This is a really, really good dry shampoo. I got this probably as a sample either at work or in, um, I probably got it in like a support play or something like that. And I really like this dry shampoo. I've used it several times. Like I've gotten a lot of little samples like this in boxes and things. Very good. Um, smells really good. Doesn't show up too bad in dark hair and it does a really good job of cleansing your hair It's a little pricey, but in my opinion worth it. Honestly um, Next up we have a living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo. This is a really good dry shampoo It does a nice job of cleansing your hair and again doesn't leave a white cast too bad in darker hair um, I'm just not a big fan of the living proof scent everyone loves it like it's it's just really really florally in my opinion and I don't love that but this is a really good dry shampoo um next we have a the righteous butter the righteous butter creamy body wash three-in-one cleanse shave and moisturize um this is like a body wash and this is from soap and glory it has their like classic soap and glory scent to it and it's really good i i liked this i like their clean on me one as well but this one felt like it might be a little bit more nourishing to the skin and it was good for shaving as well um another thing in here is the viral extreme blue color wash um, this is a color depositing shampoo now if you have colored hair like mine or if you have any color hair There is a viral shampoo for you. They make toning shampoos as well, and this was a pretty good shampoo um, I You can actually like dye your hair with this I guess which that's not what I used it for I just used it to keep the color in my hair It smells good uh, I do feel like it was a little drying in my hair. Um, one product that I will give, a couple of products that I will give a shout out to. This is old. I have not used this in quite some time. Uh, I was, after I used this, I was using the Joyco Color Butter. That is like a deep conditioning treatment that has color in it. I That one was okay. I still have like half a jar in my shower and I'm honestly probably never going to use it. Um, then next I tried the Caracolor, their color depositing co-wash, which is supposed to be like a conditioner. It's a, um, cleansing shampoo and conditioner and color depositor all in one. I personally, my hair is actually very fine. Products like that do not work as shampoos in my hair. I don't know why, if I'm not using it right, but it just doesn't work for me in my opinion um as that but i would use that just as a straight up conditioner and it works beautifully that's the Cara color one uh so i have like one more use left of that one and i really like the packaging it comes in a pump it's really easy to use that one is very blue but the bluest most color intense shampoo which is actually a conditioner again um the most color intensive color depositing shampoo conditioner product that I have ever used is the punky color one. I got it for I think probably like $14 or something like that from Target. I still have quite a bit of it left. I only wash my hair once a week so like it really takes me a long time to go through shampoo products. Uh, but it is, I mean it's blue. It stains your hands. It has so much dye in it. Like it is incredible in my opinion. I will say I don't think it's quite as softening to my hair as the Caracolor one, but it definitely has way more dye in it. Uh, so, you know, you kind of got to weigh your pros and cons, but what I will do with that one, again, it's a conditioner, so I just use it as conditioner in my hair, shampoo it, then I put that in my hair, and I lately have just been mixing it with like a normal conditioner just to add a little bit more conditioning benefits to it. So that is a really, really good one if you're looking for a color depositing shampoo. Viral is really, really good. They have a lot of different colors, like any color you could want. So I will have to commend them for that. I mean, they definitely have the biggest variety of colors that I've ever seen in a color depositing hair product like that. But uh, just after using some other things, I do feel like it was a little drying. So that's that. 
Um, next in here, we have a Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I use this every single day that I wear makeup. I love it. Um, it's just a cleansing balm. It is a really, 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 like the best of the best makeup remover in my opinion. I'm curious to see how many of these I've gone through. So that's number one. Um, a Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing toilet. This is just a little travel size. I really only use these when I travel. Uh, we have a, another Dr. Bronner soap. This is the Dry Bar Saki Bomb Nourishing Shampoo. I really liked this shampoo. Um, it smells amazing. If you like the way that Dry Bar products smell, you will love this stuff. Um, it was It's sulfate free, good for color treated hair, and it did feel very nourishing. Next, we have the Redken Triple Take Hairspray. I love this hairspray, and I actually forgot about how much I love this hairspray. I'm going to repurchase it again. It is a really good hold hairspray, and it smells... Oh, my God, it smells so good. It has, like, this... Oh, there's some left in there. Anyway, it has this really nice mister on it. It has a really strong hold, but it doesn't get flaky in the hair, and it's not crunchy. All right, this is another glycolic acid toner from Maria Rescue. Oh, here's a nice micellar water. So this is the Botan Botanics brand, and this is their Hydration Burst 3-in-1 micellar water, and this is for dehydrated and sensitive skin. It has clary sage in it, it says. Um, this was a really nice micellar water. I liked this to remove my makeup. Um, and also, I mean... I like a micellar water just kind of as a makeup remover. I would always recommend going in and actually cleansing your skin after because micellar waters can leave lots of residue on the skin and they may not get all of the makeup off, so I would definitely cleanse again. But this was a really good makeup remover. It didn't burn my eyes and I have very, very sensitive eyes. And I liked the top of it. It had just like a little kind of spout in it. And you can get this at Walgreens. It's not super expensive. It's not quite as inexpensive as like the Garnier one, but it's not crazy expensive or anything. So this was a really good one. Um, here we have a Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. This is my favorite setting spray of all time now. I love this stuff. I found out about this because of the Taylor on YouTube. She kept raving about it and recommending it so I went and pur I purchased it from an Ulta in store. I bought the last one that they had in the store and I was like oh my god oh my god and I tried it and it is amazing. It is as good as everyone says it is. The hype is very real and I would recommend it. Uh, I ran out of this one and I went to order more on Ulta and of course they were out of stock so I once they finally did become in stock again I ordered like four of them because they were buy one get one 50% off. I was like, I'm not running out of this ever again. It's the best. So, love that. Uh, this is a Benefit Eye Serum. This is the Firm It Up Eye Serum. And I actually really like this. This is a really lightweight eye serum. I use it under my eyes and like on my eyelid area. And it really does feel like tightening and firming. I don't know how hydrating it is on the skin, but... I like it just as kind of like that firming step in my skincare. I like to use it in the morning. It goes well underneath makeup and it's just a nice serum. It's kind of like almost iridescent -y to like the, mm, the, like the Origins Ginseng under eye serum. You know how that's kind of like pearly, like brightening. It kind of has that effect to it as well. So this is a good eye serum. Packaging super cute and you really only need like a little tiny bit of it. It goes a long way. This product lasted me a long time. Uh, let's see. We have in here, oh my gosh, this was like the obsession for a long time and I still really like this. I still have one that's like almost empty but I can still get a couple more uses out of it sitting on my desk here. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Photos, Photo Focus Foundation and I wear the shade 360C Porcelain. I love this foundation and people say that it smells like paint, it kind of does, but I kind of like it. Uh, good color match, really nice finish, kind of like a satin matte finish, uh, medium coverage, 
long wearing really really good foundation drugstore i think that this foundation is maybe five dollars like maybe and you get a full fluid ounce in there so really good buy here we have another photo focus foundation so that's two for the count there uh next in here we have a mario badescu facial spray this is the cucumber and green tea, green tea one this actually still has some in it but it's it's done enough um really nice facial spray um really refreshing okay here is a, another hydration burst micellar water oh and then here is a clinique take the day off this is a makeup remover for lids, lashes, and lips. This is like a more oily kind of makeup remover. I like this one to like really get in there on my eyes. And if I'm wearing like a really strong liquid lip, this will bust it up. Like this will take anything off your lids or lips. It is very good. Very good. Very good. Um, here we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser for all skin types, Skin Transforming Hydrating Cleansing Serum. Um, it's supposed to be anti-aging. I didn't really notice any, like, anti-aging benefits or anything like that, but this is one that I just kept in my shower, um, to use with my Clarisonic. I typically use Purity, but, um, I just kept this one in there just because I had it and I wanted to use it up. I did like the way that it left your skin feeling. It did really have like a nice hydrated serum-y feel to it after you used it. Um, here we have another little tiny castile soap, travel size. Uh, this is a Briogeo Rosarco milk. This is just a leave-in conditioning spray. This stuff smelled really good and it makes your hair very soft. So what more could you want? Um, here we have a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This one is the lotion and this shit is bomb. Okay, here is a CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion Ultra Lightweight. This is one of my holy grail products. I love this shit. It is so good. That's all I can say about it. It's bomb. Um, Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. This stuff was okay. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. And I think that I bought another one actually after I went through this. So it's okay for how inexpensive it is. The mister is fine. It did a fine job of like making my face not look too makeup y or anything. But as far as like longevity goes, I don't think it really had an effect on that. All right. Next in here. We have the jumbo size of the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. Um, this is a vitamin C serum. I bought the like professional size of it and I didn't see any results with it. Um, also, Ole Henriksen, I purchased that serum because I had received this moisturizer in a box box, I think. And this stuff smells amazing. Oh my god, it smelled so good, and it was like the most beautiful texture on the skin. This also is supposed to be like a brightening, a vitamin C moisturizer. I didn't really see any brightening results with it, but I liked it. It was really, the texture of it was beautiful, it was super moisturizing, it felt really good in that way. And then while we're on top of that, let's just talk about the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, another vitamin C product. Maybe a little brightening, but like not really. It was okay though. It was hydrating. It went well under makeup. Um, next in here, we have a Bedhead Masterpiece Massive Shine Hairspray, another really good hairspray. Kind of smells a little bit like an energy drink, but it leaves your hair so nice and shiny. I love it and it has a good hold to it. Uh, here is another Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting Spray. Uh, here we have a Beauty Blender. This is the Beauty Blender Pro. It's just a black one and she's seen better days. Here we have a Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus Wrinkle Correcting Eye Cream. This is a really nice eye cream. I did repurchase this eye cream. It does come in just like this little... Um, purple jar it lasts a really long time and I this is one that I can wear morning and evening I really feel like I have seen a difference in my under eye area being much more firm after using this so that's why I repurchased it 
Um, here's another Clinique eye cream. This one is the Clinique All About Eyes eye cream, and this one is supposed to reduce circles, pop, re reduce circles and puffs. So it's just kind of like a cooling eye cream. This was nice, but I didn't really find that I had any benefits of it other than just moisturizing my under eyes. So I like the other one better because I feel like that actually firms my under eye area. Um, next we have a Lucetta Beauty Volumizing Dry Shampoo. And this one I got in like a Sephora play box or something. It was okay. It was like a little powdery for me though. Um, here I have two more CeraVe moisturizing lotions and I also have two more Clinique Tip the Day Offs. Here is a Batiste dry shampoo. This is the Cleaning Classic Original. Um, this stuff works. It does a pretty good job of cleansing your hair but it leaves the worst white cast in your hair but if you just need like a good quick down and dirty dry shampoo from the drugstore Batiste is the way to go uh, but another one that's really good is this Eva NYC freshen up dry shampoo this one I feel like did leave as much of a white cast in my hair and it smells really good as well I really like their products I think that they're a very underrated brand they have very nice hair products and they are very affordable they're not like they're not necessarily drugstore prices but they're not like like salon hair care prices either they're just like a little bit more expensive but way worth it very very good line so i liked this dry shampoo a lot um let's see right here i have four Tarte Shape Tapes and all four of these are in the shade Fair. I do not use this shade anymore. I now use the shade Porcelain Beige. This one, uh, honorable mention, is almost empty. Okay, I have two Hula Light bronzers here and I have already repurchased another one of these. Great bronzer for fair skin in my opinion. Here I have the Exuviance Vespira Serum. This one is supposed to help with like seven different signs of aging. Um, and I feel like it was actually a nice serum. It felt kind of brightening on my skin. I don't really know how firming it was to my skin and if it really helped with any fine lines or anything. But I think that it was nice. Um, it was okay. I don't know if I would repurchase it though. So. All right. Next up, we have the Makeup Forever Step One Equalizer. This is their hydrating primer. I really liked this primer and I should probably repurchase it. It smelled really good. It made a nice base on my face and I liked it. Okay, so I have in here. I have four Lorac Pro eyebrow pencils. These are all in the shade Deep Ash. Love this brow pencil. I have already repurchased it. I will continue to repurchase this brow pencil. I have a Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. This stuff is awesome. Um, I've already repurchased another one. This is the best loose powder I've ever tried. I love it. It has a color to it. I hate translucent powders. This one is awesome. See, next in here, I have two Kiss Lash Couture uh, eyelash glues. Uh, this is just a black eyelash glue, and it is one with like the little brush. I love this eyelash glue. It's probably my favorite one that I've tried. Really, I haven't had any problems with it lifting or anything. Um, one that I'm not a huge fan of anymore is the Duo one. This is their brush and adhesive, and this is the black one as well. I feel like this one lifts on me, and the Kiss one doesn't. Um, oh, there is one more Duo Lash Glue in here. That one is also in the shade Dark. Here I have a Kat Von D Trooper Liquid Eyeliner. I like that eyeliner, but I like the NYC one way better. Here I have one of my favorite, favorite, favorite concealers. This is the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. It's the one that has that gross little sponge on the top. 
really really beautiful finish really good coverage I really really like this concealer it's very good here I have a tiny Garnier Micellar water good for travel this I think I got in a box box as well um, I hadn't used this stuff in a while and it was okay but it stings my eyes whereas that other botanics one does not so you know here I have a TLC or a drunk elephant TLC it is 25% AHA 2% BHA this is their it's the baby facial Sakuri baby facial face mask I really liked it. I love anything that has like any type of acid in it though. So this stings your face and if you're not into strong skincare, you will not like this. If you are into strong skincare and having beautiful glowing skin, give this a try. It's really good. Here we have a Fenty Glow lip gloss. Ew, that looks yucky in there. I love this lip gloss. I've already repurchased this. This is just the perfect everyday lip gloss. It looks good with anything. It smells good. It wears good. It's comfortable. Perfection. Here I have two e.l.f. Beauty. These are their exfoliating lip scrubs. This one, it's a lip scrub, but it comes in a lipstick form, so it's a little bit easier to use, but they're only like three bucks, so I keep repurchasing. All right, here is another Clinique Take the Day Off travel size. Here is a beauty sponge. This is a Real Techniques one. Uh, here I have a clear sonic brush head. This one is, was this a sensitive one? This was the delicate one. Um, and I put the sensitive one back on. I like the sensitive one better than the delicate one. All right, I have, oh, here's another brush head. This is a delicate, or this is a sensitive brush head for the clear sonic as well. And then I have two tiny Clinique Moisture Surge uh, lotions. I love this moisturizer and I need to buy the full size of it again because it's so damn good. It makes your skin look just plump and beautiful. I have a Tarte. This is the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. This stuff was actually really nice. It was kind of like a gel consistency. Very, very nice. Good daytime moisturizer. Felt really nice underneath makeup. Probably not hydrating enough for the evening time in my opinion though. All right, we have the Believe True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Balm, moisturizing balm. This stuff was really, really good. And I would definitely purchase it. I think that this was another Sephora sale or Sephora sample. Really loved this. This one felt moisturizing enough for the evening time, but it also was really nice underneath makeup as well. All right, we have the Michelle Perfect C Serum. Not a fan of this, honestly. Michelle products are like very, very, um, earthy and this felt very earthy and it's vitamin C serum um it, I didn't really see many results with it but this is also a pretty tiny sample okay um this is the Michelle refining sugar cleanser really liked this cleanser in the morning not so much in the evening I'm not really a morning face washer but this one just felt really good it had sugar crystals in it so it was like exfoliating but the sugar crystals quickly dissolved so it wasn't overly exfoliating on the skin it was just very very gentle okay all right we have a cuddly vino source sos thirst quenching serum this had a ton of fragrance in it and i just felt it was unnecessary here is a eyeliner and this looks like a NYX eyeliner. I and it's in the shade jet. Oh, it is the slide on glide on eyeliner, and it's in the shade jet black. And this is pretty good, but I like the LA Girl one better now. Speaking of LA Girl, here's an LA Girl eyeliner, and this one is also in the shade black. This one goes on a little bit easier, and it's way more waterproof, in my opinion. Um, here is a small Moroccan oil treatment. This is like the actual oil, like the Moroccan oil, oil, um, 
this first of all smells amazing I just I love the way this stuff smells I cannot get over it uh, and this stuff lasts you a really long time you really only need a little tiny bit of it in your hair and it is very hydrating adds some nice shine good stuff I've already repurchased that here is the oh I really liked this this is the first aid beauty resurfacing liquid and this is a 10% AHA liquid this is like a serum with AHA in it I really liked this this did good stuff for my skin and I might purchase the full size of this I'm gonna set that right aside there to remember to look into that two more things in here I think Clinique Pepstar eye cream uh, this is a under eye eye cream. I like the packaging of it. It looks kind of like a little like Carmex lip balm and I think the original like the actual one is like metal to like be nice and cooling. Um, this was nice and hydrating. It was lightweight. I liked it under makeup but it wasn't good for the nighttime. And then I have a this is what's left of a, a beauty blender cleanser and this is this is the professional one, so it's black. It totally stained one of my sponges black. Like the core of that sponge is now black and it looks really gross. Um, it did an okay job of cleaning my sponge, but I mean, it was fine. Like I like that um, mineral soap way better. So that's garbage. And that is everything. It's gone. That was my year worth of empty video. Uh, like I said, I wasn't like I was committed to the video and then I was not committed to the video and then I was committed to it again. So I've definitely gone through more products, but um, a few honorable mentions, I guess. I'm, I've almost gone through one more. Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I have about one more use left of that one and I've already purchased that. I'm almost done with another glycolic cleanser. Um, and I am almost done with my Sunday Riley Good Jeans, that serum, bomb. Um, yeah, I'm on my last few drops of that, so RIP to my bank account. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching me and my goo hoarding problems. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to see more empties videos, let me know. I could do like a more of a monthly empty video. That seems like a little bit more obtainable in my opinion, but you know, let me know what you guys want to see and let me know what your like OG products, like if you saved your empty for a year, what would you have five of? Let me know down below. I appreciate you guys so, so much and thank you so much for watching. Again, I'll remind you guys to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, a thumbs up if you want to see more and I will see you guys next time. Bye!